Iron Eagle Solomon Wilcox with you exclusively on CBSSports.com. Jacksonville holds on for the 24-23 win over Tampa. If the formula for Jack Del Rio <laughs> Solomon was running the football and playing good defense, well, they played that to perfection. And it was everything that Quinn Gray, the quarterback for Jacksonville, needed in his first career start. He needed the running game of Fred Taylor, Maurice Jones, Drew, LeBrandon Tofield even chipped in, and then a fourth running back in Greg Jones. It was very productive. And then the defense to come away and get three interceptions in this game against Garcia, yeah. who had not thrown an interception all season long. It was really, I think, the blueprint for success if you're Jacksonville. Certainly a gut check win for the Jacksonville Jaguars coming off that Monday night performance against the Indianapolis Colts. They needed to go out and play the style of football that they did here in Tampa. For the Buccaneers, this one is going to be a bitter pill to swallow because they had all the momentum in that third quarter. It had shifted their way, but in the fourth, they weren't able to finish plays and clearly unable to finish the deal. Very much some opportunities, I think, for the offense for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We saw in the fourth quarter on the last drive an overthrow yeah. from Jeff Garcia, overthrowing Ike Hilliard, who's wide open. He catches the ball. He walks in for a touchdown. Could have been the game-winning touchdown for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I thought John Gruden put his offense in a position to make plays to win the game in the end. Wasn't enough against a very good Jacksonville defense. Bounce back win for the Jaguars. They improved to 5-2. and two. The Buccaneers fall to 500. They're 4-4. Four and four. That's going to do it from Tampa. For Solomon Wilcox, I'm Ian Eagle, exclusively on CBSSports.com.